Hey there, teacher friends. It's Bill McDonald, the reading and writing doctor. I'm imagining that most of you are still on vacation somewhere, probably with your teacher's salary in Cancun or Acapulco. So I thought I would put your background. As I promised, I wanted to send you a video today for all my teacher friends about half the song of the Tear It Up with SCR. If you were one of the people who emailed me, you already have a copy of the whole cadence that I turned into a poem uh, with rhyme and rhythm reader, uh, and meter. So I'm gonna take you through half of it. And if you're in the ER online training group, the extended essay, ex extended response, editing, revising, emergency room recorded training teachers, I'll send you the, the whole uh, the whole song and you can tweak and twist the, the movements to however you see fit. But um, I think sometimes the, the, the seeing, the saying, the hearing, listening, and the doing will make your students remember some important parts. Now, this, I need to tell you, ER teachers has to be understood as the firm foundation to get your students ready for the extended constructed response because both of these have to be evidence-based. So here we go. I'm going to do it pretty slowly. I'm only going to do like eight or nine stanzas, stanzas of the poem slash song called Tear It Up with SCR. So as I do it, I suggest that you kind of, because it's gonna, it's got me doing it and then you echoing, you can watch, listen, and then you can say it and do it. Pause it after I say it and do it. Since most of you uh, have a copy of the poem in front of you, go ahead and make sure that you, uh, after I say it the first time, before you echo, go ahead and practice what you saw me do by pausing just for a second. So here we go. Line, stat lines one through, I'll do two lines 22. Can I just, to get those of you who are not part of the ER training, a feel of some things that the teachers are receiving to help them. Hey folks of E-L-A-R. This song's for the S C R. If you can remember, tear it will help to get you there. It is spelled. T E A R and will help you with the star. We will start with T top it. Wow. This song. Uh, is really slick. I liked all the keywords now. Who, what, who, what, when, where, why, which, how use the E for evid, evidence. This will 
give you your best chance. Who, what, when, where, why, which, how? Evidence, examples, one or more. And I'm going to do the last couple the way that you would probably be doing it back for me. If it goes with what they ask, if it goes with what they ask, you are done with half your task. You are done with half your task. You finding one good piece or more finding one good piece or more will get you a one for sure and it has to be by two different readers so the evidence one or more that's the rubric take a break and show some goose let your friends see your best moves take a break and show some moves let your friends see your best moves eat eat even seven beats the six beats after the letter it can be whatever your kids want and they can show their moves a two three four five six Oh, I lost myself there for a second. Ah, like a check. R, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there you have it. That is 22 lines of the poem, Tear It Up with S-C-A-R. And each one does say, hey, folks of E-L-A-R, echo. So then your kids or whoever you're teaching this to would repeat back, hey, folks of E-L-A-R. And then whatever you do, they'll repeat it. So I hope you like it. Uh, feel free to tag your teacher friends. Uh, if those, For those of you who haven't uh, emailed me for the TEAR acronym that this song is based from, I'll send you that. Uh, the, the TEAR activity, it's a cut and color activity using tear for topic evidence and like a ymca response and then you get a copy of this song so take care and god bless thanks for watching today